Hello and welcome back Paxians. I'm Eltari, the professional gamer, and this is part two of our three-part tutorial series that is currently being sponsored by Mainframe. And we have been given such an amazing opportunity to get into this world early so that we can produce all of these videos for you so that you're ready and rearing to go when the alpha is released. So if you haven't done so already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like if this is the type of content you enjoy, and share this video with any of your friends who are interested in learning about PAX Day. In this episode, we are going to be going over everything that you need to know about getting started. PAX Day is full of places to discover, resources to gather, enemies to fight, and communities to build. But before any of that, you have to make sure that you start off on a good foot. It is recommended that you walk around and collect some wood and stone off of the ground. This will unlock a lot of new crafting recipes for you. Use these materials to craft a stone axe and a construction hammer. To craft, press tab or I to open up your inventory and click on the craft button at the top of your screen. Once you have enough resources to build the construction hammer, click on the tool and either click craft or press C to craft. Take this opportunity to explore your surroundings. When you find an area of land that you find appealing to build at, equip your construction hammer in your hand. Right click to open up your construction hammer's UI panel, which includes the crafting menu as well as the plot management system. Click on the plot tab and then click on the unclaimed plot button in the middle of your screen. This will show a white circle on the ground indicating your potential plot. If you are near another player's plot, you will connect the plots, gaining additional space between your plots. By left clicking, you will claim whatever area of land you currently have selected. Do note that you must be a sufficient distance away from roads or other points of interest to place your claim. Additionally, you can release your plot at any time by returning to the plot menu and clicking release plot. All of your resources and some of your chests will also become public resources if you do that. So obviously take caution when you're unclaiming your plots. By returning to the plot menu and clicking on your plot, you can name your plot as well as adjust permissions from private to clan to public. You can now use the construction hammer to place crafting stations as well as build structures. It is recommended that you make a chopping block. That makes a lot of different construction materials. And the basic crafting table, which gives you access to more advanced crafting recipes and tools such as the pickaxe. As you are out gathering, be sure to pick up food. By equipping it to your action bar and pressing the corresponding number on your keyboard, you will consume the food. You can eat all sorts of food items and they will have different effects on you. Speaking of effects, those two bars at the bottom of your screen are your health, the red bar, and stamina, the yellow. Different foods will have different effects on those bars, so be sure to try out all the different combinations to see what works best for your playstyle. It's also important to note that sometimes you can poison yourself, so be careful about the types of food that you're putting into your character. With your inventory tab open, you can also click on clans. This is where you can go to find other players and groups in the alpha and apply to join their communities or create your own. While you are venturing around the creation, feel free to join in the PAX Day alpha channels to facilitate interactions with other testers. Local, clan, and private message chat exists in game, so feel free to talk to each other as you are exploring the world too. If you find someone you would like to group up with while exploring the various points of interest in PAX Day, you can invite other players to your party by looking at them and using your mouse scroll wheel to select the invite to party and press E. Players can press N to open their notifications and respond to both clan and party invitations. You can be revived by having a player walk up to you or your tombstone and revive you. When you're knocked down, you will have a period of time to be revived before you are forced to respawn. 
When being revived, a notification will pop up on your screen. You can press N to respond to your resurrection request. Even if you are already respawned and a player chooses to revive you at your tombstone, you can accept the revive request and get teleported back to your tombstone's location with all of your gear. Do note that in the future, your tombstone might potentially be lootable by other players, especially outside of the Heartlands. As a result, it will be very important for your character to be well equipped. Be sure to craft better armor and weapons, equipping it through the inventory menu. Do note that some equipment slots can be layered over, like the chest and leg slots. Explore the various crafting tiers to determine what kind of armor and equipment you wish to craft for yourself. And that is all that we have for this second part of our three-part tutorial series. In the next section, we're going to be talking about building, crafting, as well as combat. Again, I would like to thank Mainframe for sponsoring this video, as well as giving us the opportunity to get into the game so that we can start making these videos for all of you to enjoy. If this is the type of content that you like, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like this video, and share it with any of your friends who are trying to pick up and learn PAX Day. I will see you all in the next part of our three-part tutorial series. Until then, I'm Altari the Professional Gamer.